I am amazed that 18 years after my accident, that if someone were to break their neck today, that they would more or less receive the exact same treatment that I did in 1995. From what I've heard and understand, much of the last two decades with regard to research has been spent in recognizing that they don't know what they don't know. I realize it's unfair for the spinal cord injury community to expect results when researchers are still trying to figure out if they have all the pieces to the puzzle. I recently asked a researcher at Harvard if he thought all the pieces of the puzzle are known, and he was optimistic that they are. To the researchers and clinicians, I appreciate you listening to my personal disappointments and frustrations and hearing firsthand some of the complications of living with a spinal cord injury. I want to make sure you never forget your impact your research could have and will have on people like me and those who are sitting in wheelchairs in this room today. I hope it is with excitement and pride that you continue to conduct your research. There are only a handful of people on this planet who have the opportunity to do what you do. And it is impossible to exaggerate the important, excuse me, it is impossible to exa exaggerate the impact a breakthrough would have. To those of us who have a loved one who is paralyzed or paralyzed themselves, we need to make sure we do our job by listening to the researchers, by fundraising, by pushing legislation forward, by being heard. If you're sitting at home feeling powerless, you need to rethink your position. There are a number of SCI organizations out there and politicians who could use your help. The more we web network, the more we unify, the more we all get behind the researchers, the sooner our nightmare will come to an end. And we can begin the journey to apply therapeutic breakthroughs to our resting bodies. Lastly, I want to thank all of you for being here today. I know for many of you it was not easy to get here, but it is the people in this room and the research across this country and around the globe who have the power to make functional recovery a reality. If there's one thing that has not changed in the last 18 years, it is the hope that a breakthrough is out there. I want to thank you for keeping my hope and hope for others with paralysis alive. I truly believe we will get there.